Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode and another day in the game A Night in the Woods. Let's check and see if we have any messages from our friends here. We have messages from all of them. Um, last night inspired me. For, for longest night I'm getting you... What? For longest night I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Okay. That was weird. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning, like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Okay, cool. Um, planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big or cool they are. Dr. Kevin... Okay. Well, thanks for that away message there. It's quite beautiful. Good way to start the morning. Alright. Let's see if... Whoa. Me and my mother in this picture look creepy as hell. Oh, but whoever that is, probably me in that costume, looks awesome as hell. What? It, wait, excuse me? I didn't even know there was another area to the house. Okay, anyways, whatever. Mother, do we have to speak? Let's chat. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working. Kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep? I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. I've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with Bia. That sounds nice. It was. Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hun. Take it easy, you really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Oh. Adorable. I wonder if there's something, like, wrong with my character. She gets headaches and is having a bunch of weird delusional dreams. It kind of freaks me out. Now that I'm psychoanalyzing this character I've been playing for so long and seeming like she was completely normal, although, well, I was gonna say she's completely normal in my eyes, probably because she's kind of like me, but I am probably the farthest you can get from completely normal, so. She is definitely not that, but whether or not she has some brain issues is the thing there. Alright, let's go visit our friends. Let's go see Mr. Well, do we go see Mr. or Mrs.? Or who do I talk to? I want to go to the graveyard, so I guess I gotta go visit my crocodile friend. Alright, here we go. Let's get in there. Let's go grave... graveyarding. I'm on the counter, like an adult. Hey, Bia. Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool. But also, maybe it might have consequences? We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So work's not going well? Ah. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Yeah. Actually, yeah. It's what I've been waiting for. The spoopy graveyard. See what adventures or misadventures or terrible ghost sightings we'll have. Oh, jeez, that is spooky. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know, good spooky. Cause I get really sad because I get really sad because it's not here year round. Eh, it's a weird way to think of things, but I guess I guess I could see it. Where are we going? Into spooky graveyard. Is that the grave we're supposed to be looking for? Well there's the statue. Oh, also spooky. I thought you were like actually kind of afraid. I mean I am, but like whatever. So we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Yeah. I mean, pretty much. 
I'm here for spooky things. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now and no one in power gives a shit or they're actively making it worse. At a spider profit. Wow, okay, this is too akin to real life here, guys. It's a game, okay? I meant like a skeleton or something. All right, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? Uh, skeleton outside your window. A regular, a regular stranger person outside your window. He's smiling, and he's from the bank. Oh come on, he's here to tell you they're gonna take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. Scary stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb, let's go. But what if something, what? Oh, those are fireflies. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, let's go. Nothing gonna happen. Might as well go home. You know. Okay, so. I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay, it happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll go check out some grapes. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool, I'll meet you back up there then. Or back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. Okay. Can we check out graves over here? I assume we should probably leave her alone, but this is the only place I... Okay. Wait. I kind of want to say hi, though. I want her to know she's loved. Hey. Hey. Is this... Yep. Oh. Yep. Well, okay. You have fun. I just want you to know you're loved. Even though you kind of told me to leave you alone. It's fine. I just wanted to make sure. Alright. Let's go check out some graves over here. Because I'm sure nothing with the statue will happen at all. If only we could... What? Rose, age 95 years. Excuse me. Leaves. Move. Mm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. She was born in the my. When she was born, the most high tech thing was horses. She had to, like, look out the window and see a horse. Now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like, any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Well, that's an interesting way to think about it, but okay. Oh, 14 years old, taken by flu? That's so sad. Oh, dang, lived like 14 years. It's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. Should get off at least one good sentence in life. That's true. Why isn't the spooky statue doing stuff? Is this my third grave I have to check out? Brad Boysen. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. Crashed his bike. Oh yeah, I bet it was like he was racing to a sweetie's house to beg her not to leave town. And he took a dangerous curve too fast and went flying off a cliff. And his last words whispered into the rain in midair were, Actually, I love my bike more. Please put it on my grave, okay? Jeez, Bia. How long does a mom visit take? TikTok, Beatrice, we've got places to go. Holy crap, I am a jerk. Yeah, that was, that was real mean. You wait your goddamn time. <gasps> wait, oh my god, what if she's gone? What if somebody takes her? Oh no, okay, you're fine. Jesus Christ, don't do that to me. Hey, 
Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's been buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet, here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And, like, voices. Huh, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Like, from, like, this top of the hill? Yeah, okay. I had to jump weirdly. Alright, gotcha. Hello? Is anyone up here doing spooky things? Well. Uh... What the hell? Oh, hi. How weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead. They shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers, observers, meddlers. Teens, they're weird teens. Oh. Yeah, they are, they're pretty weird. All right, well, we are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass and who shall remain. All right, well, answer us these questions truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question, have you ever done it? Uh, done. It? You heard me. How old are you, teens? Answer! No. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Uh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do, like, math stuff and camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex? It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. This is boring. Next question. Geez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something, like, spooky at least? Dream date! Okay, fine. Be, uh, or, uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music. And we go to the movies. Born. You? Wrestling. Like, you're gonna wrestle, or you're gonna, you're gonna, like, watch wrestling? I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. They'd have to be like, grr, because I don't even want to date someone who's not a girl. So you're going to wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool, and we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding, and then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet, I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. Ha ha ha. That's it? What were you expecting? Oh, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh god. Uh, let's go with one time in high school. It's more embarrassing. I went to the problem with this guy, Cole. Oh wow, I've been wanting the story for years. And it was awkward and I had to wear a dress. And I couldn't slow dance. And he was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him. But somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. You bit him? How bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I like rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels. So I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth. And I overdo it and he starts choking and like fighting back. And I'm like chowing down on candy almonds. From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. So I'm like plowing through these almonds, and one gets caught in my throat. 
poor Cole has like slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give myself the Heimlich maneuver and it works, but, but I puke all over Cole. Chicken cordon blue. This is amazing. Right, then someone walks in and sees Cole's Cole dazed, bleeding, and choking, and me puking into the sink. So I pull all the paper to towels out of Cole's mouth, and for some reason I think to flush them down the toilet, and that makes it overflow. So I grab Cole and pull him out of the bathroom, both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water, and he ran away and left. And he was my ride. How did you get home? That kid Josh who rode his tractor to prom? So we're slowly driving to my house, cars slowing down and honking while I'm on the back crying my eyes out. That was seriously messed up. May, I, I, I have nightmares about it like once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna top that. You'll come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I hate everything right now. Forget it, let's go. Stupid teens. See you later, you fucking nerds. Have fun in the graveyard. We're gonna go explore some spooky stuff the hell is down here I don't know if I want to go down here so like ghosts ghosts like I don't know if I believe in them but yeah so you know how you said you've been seeing a ghost ghost at night I mean I don't super believe it's not just dreams because obviously it's dreams Okay, that's certainly your take on it, but like, did you ever see my mom? No. I mean, I can't really tell, and I don't think the ghosts were like, people? Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like, echoes. Echoes of shit that happened in people that were here. Oh. Trust me, none of the places looked super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. Haha, <laughs> that's like, I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway, so the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big ass gate. Oh, why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out? And stop what you're probably gonna do? Hmm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost, I'm just the driver. Fine, hang on, I'll be back. Alright, let's do some parkour, shall we? Or whatever we're supposed to do. Excuse me? Jump on this, thank you. Jump on that, jump on that. We got this shit. Parkour! Ha! <laughs> I did it. I knew I would. It's probably a bad idea to leave her. Oh, okay. Just learn to jump. Not with the scrawny legs, I guess. How do you break that gate open? Or how do I break that gate open? Um. Oh, I have an idea. It's with this. Oh, god damn it. With the, with the, with the branch. Huh? Okay. Huh? Huh? Yep. I learned this in the woods. I'm a pro. Look at me. I did it. Uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see, I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find little Joe's grave, and if he doesn't show up... I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine. Whatever. Let's go. Yeah, probably not the best. If you're looking for a ghost, he's not gonna be very happy if you show up and start punching his grave. Also, the whole time I thought that statue was supposed to be his grave. Joe Shade. 
Yep, this is him. Gun here's all swampy. Ah, gross. So what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm gonna just look around for ghosts. Ah, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May I am here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Alright, let's go look for ghosts and stuff. Any ghosts over there? No, Bia. You'd know. I'd say. Haha. Okay, okay. Alright, any ghosts over here? I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. Yeah. I like how I can slam my face against the wall and the camera flings itself over because I'm just bashing my face in. Alright, buddy. Get out of your grave. Why can't I beat on stuff? This grave is for a horse, I think? I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine this big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Yeah, that would be pretty sweet. It would also be like... Too friggin' large. Okay. Is there anything over here? Hello? Alright, we're gonna go back to her. I'm sad I can't jump or run fast. I'm used to both those things in this game. And all of a sudden I can't. <sighs> Alright. Bia. Bia, can I talk to you? Oh, I can't. Sweet. Okay. What are we going to do now? This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is that what you're expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm going to smash his shit up. Oh, uh, whoa, dude. Hold hold up. No. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Okay. Okay, yep. I had a feeling that would happen. It's a sinkhole. Holy shit. Holy shit. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh, crap. So we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. But yeah, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. We got... Oh god, we got more of a Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Jeez, god, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious, at least? Alright. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Oh god, there's a mini game. Why? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, uh, wait, Gra grab it, pull it, hello, ah, Jesus, here's the kitty cat, so what, foul play, who knows, we're detectives, we're not, we're like criminal vandals, we're like grave robbers or something, those two, we're a lot of things right now, shh, what? Uh-oh. So there's someone back there watching us. Oh, God. I don't know where they went, just, like, out of the corner of my eye. Is it... I don't know, but we will need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone. Now. Okay, fine. Jeez. Wow, Bia's eyes just got real big. Whoa. <gasps> it was the spectral figure ghost thingy. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine, but he was there. May, it was the groundskeeper or something, investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Rah, I saw the effing ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know. Ah, uh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. That's a smart idea. This ghost thing is freaking me out. Hi, Father. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Alright. 
Nice chat, Dad. I'll be going to sleep. Going to sleep and probably having more dreams about awakening people at bell towers and then a terrifying creature of some sort doing spooky things until I pass out. Alright, anything? Yeah, I knew we'd have one from Bia. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery and we accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was totally like the corpse of the ghost. Or you know what I mean. Whoa! And it was like effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did! Must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed with his grave. Oof, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job on, like, all of that. You know it, dude. Good night as hell, bro. <laughs> Good night as F. That's beautiful. Hey, B.A., you awake? I very much am. Doing builds and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Okay, sorry, I was kind of wrecked at the cemetery. I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? How about that ghost, though? May, seriously, it was the groundskeeper. Bia, yeah, what? He was, like, right there. It was totally the same guy from the other night. My cat won't shut the hell up. It was just a normal dude. How could you even make him out anyways? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy, or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah! Fine, whatever. Sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove, you came with me. Okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep, you need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. She's so peppy over messaging, but not in real life. Alright, bedtime, yes. Alright, time for some weird ass dreams. Alright, what do we get to do tonight? Ring some more bell towers? Because that's what we do every single. What the hell? Oh, I'm a. What? Endless landscape. Well, this is a tad different. I mean, usually it's about this weird, but it's just. It's just different. Okay. Where are we going? Where's the spooky ghost things? I was probably supposed to go the other way. I'm hoping that's not the case because it's a long walk back currently. Whoa. Actually, this looks like something I was supposed to experience, so... Maybe I was supposed to go this way. Goodbye, giant terrifying moon. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Oh! Well, that's normal. Hello? It's a cat. I am a cat. Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Yeah, that's real creepy. Are you God? No. Oh. That's a, that's a good conversation. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they're asking if I am God, and I am asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. You are seeing what you are wishing, little creature. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals. Have I been seeing ghosts? They were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so a great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. Uh... A tear? With their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they're dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they're asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. 
We are swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. What? Those are like ticks. Giant ticks? What the hell? Giant alien ticks? Ah. Oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you. You are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. So does anything mean anything? That is not a question worth answering. About my home, what about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. Your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again, and the universe is forgetting you, and I am remembering you, but not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago, the end is moments away. There is no time to forget, before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Wait, giant ghost cat, what is going on? What the fuck, this turned all like... Way more psychological than I felt like it was, at least in the beginning. But it's it's too real now. Too freaking real, game designers. Interesting, but way too real. Alright, time to wake up. AKA, time to start a new episode. Thank you all so much for watching. This game has been real fucking weird so far. I got an achievement called Echoes, because apparently we're all echoes to the giant space cat in the sky. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.